With season 10 of Sea of Thieves, we finally have the option to join and make up to three unique guilds or clans that can host up to 24 maximum players per each one. Now, in order to make a guild or join one, you just go on the main screen over here, which is discover and play, and you just click the guilds option at the top here, and you'll have your guild invites as well as an option to create a guild. It will also tell you how many slots you have available left. I have three guild slots available. There's some information here you can read too. But in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and create a guild, starting off with a guild crest, which you have these eight to pick from currently. You can then select your guild mark, which is the thing that goes in the middle there. And you can see there are five pages of eight here that you can choose from too. You can then pick your guild colors, which is also based on eight different options. Unfortunately, you can't like change like certain ones like yellow with red, which is what I was trying to do because of this whole One Piece theme. Ultimately, I decided to go for the red one. Then you have the option of making your guild name, which cannot contain numbers. Special characters has to be 20 characters maximum in length and cannot end or start with a space. So make sure your name follows those rules. The final customization option is the guild motto, which you get seven pages of different mottos here. You unfortunately cannot type your own one in here. So find one that works for you. I decided to go with Adventure Awaits because that, that feels very One Piece kind of style. Once you confirm your guild's branding, you will have the option to pledge a ship. In fact, I think you have to pledge one to actually start the guild. Don't worry about pledging your ship. It's not like it's gone and you can never use it. And if you just ban the guild, the ship's gone. You, in fact, can always remove any of the ships you pledge back into your normal captain ships so that you can use whenever you want. If you don't want to share your ship, that's fine. You can always go ahead and purchase a new ship, a sloop brigantine or galleon, and go ahead and pledge that ship once you're done. I decided to pledge this new sloop that I made called Joy Boy. So go ahead and pledge it, and then it will tell you the roles that you have within your guild. You get guild owner, guild leader, and guild mate. And you can see what each one is able to do. The guild owner is obviously allowed to do a lot more things. The guild leader can change the roles as well as invite new people, but you can also change some of these options or these roles so that all guild mates can invite their own friends so that you can have your guild expand nicely amongst your friend group. After you've reviewed those roles, you can go ahead and confirm and create your guild after making sure you're completely happy with everything. You can always actually come back to this choice later and click rebrand to change all of these options in case you want to change, you know, the name or the, the colors and whatnot. And right after creating the guild, you can go ahead and invite your friends. Now that you have your very own guild created, you can see here you have Guild Chronicles, which is like a history of what happened with any ships or anything. Your guild members, you can see your guild ships there. You can go back one page here and go see other guilds, like how many slots you still have available. I can create another two guilds or be invited to two other guilds because you can only join or be a part of three maximum guilds. If I go ahead and I click the Guild Ships option, you can see here our Joybo ship is over here. I can change the sharing options in case I don't wanna share this with other people in the guild. I'm also able to remove this as a pledge ship so that it stays as a captain ship with me. Now you should know that when you pledge a ship, it stays within the guild. And if somebody else in the guild is using that ship, you will have to either join them or wait until they're done. So that's like the main reason why this might conflict with you if you have a ship that you like to play on by yourself, for example. So I'm gonna load another ship, my Devil Fruit Sloop, which is my main sloop. And now you can see here, I have my two sloops pledged to the guild. Any other member of the guild can also pledge their own ships if they want to use it and represent the guild and help advance the guild while they're using that ship while it's pledged. Which is probably what most people are gonna do is pledge their own ship and then use it within the guild so that they can help the guild rank grow while using their own ship or just join a friend who's from there too. If you head back to the Guild Chronicles, you'll see this will be updated with the ships that you have pledged or if other players have pledged your ships or played with your ships and advanced them. All that information usually gets shared here. If you do want to represent your guild or a guild, go into adventure mode. You're gonna go sail for a guild all the way on the right-hand side. Select the guild that you wanna sail for. And within this guild, you will have to pick a ship that is available. If a crew is already sailing one, you can join them directly from here, or you can take out a new ship here that is pledged, maybe one of your other ones here and go ahead and sail the sloop directly. You can also change some of the sharing options if the ship is your own one within here. I think it's because I'm the guild owner, I have some of these options here. And then you just go ahead and sail. Now you can choose to go with an open crew or with guild crew so that anybody can join you with your from your guild or your guild members or your friends, or just a typical closed crew if you just wanna play by yourself. Just select the option you want, confirm and assemble your crew, invite anybody if you wanna invite them and just start like you normally would. 
When you are sailing on a pledge ship to a guild, once you get near the ship, you'll see the ship will be represented at the title card at the top of the screen saying pledged to Devil Fruit or whatever your guild name is or the guild that you're you know sailing with here. You'll also get the guild's name represented on the mast, which is really cool. I actually like this. It's actually the same name as the ship that I'm on right now. So it's Devil Fruit, Devil Fruit. So it's a nice way to actually get double branding for your ship's name on your ship in case you're just like a solo player and you want a guild that just represents your own ship. Now you will have to represent your ship and sell things, fight in allegiances, and you know, just use the ship to gain progress with it. That counts towards your guild. And when you head over to the Sovereign's Tent, there will be a table that you'll be able to interact with. And once you reach Guild Reputation 15, you can actually put down an emissary flag for your guild to represent it on your ship to unlock rewards, cosmetic rewards and stuff. I don't know if this actually affects gold or anything. I'm not there yet, this is quite new, but yeah, this is where you track it. You can also go into your tab screen, go to your pirate log, and then you're gonna go into reputation and you'll see your guild will be represented right at the top here, Devil Fruit, right next to Tall Tales. And you can just go in here and you can track all this information like the ledger, how much progress you've made towards the ledger, the guild ships, the guild members, all that stuff to see if somebody's online or playing or whatnot. And you can, you know, get some more information on what to do here. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to join my guild. If you're a One Piece fan, it makes it even better because it's a whole One Piece themed guild, to be honest. If not, I do hope this video helped you in understanding how to join a guild or how to make your own guild and how it all works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.